Today I'm going to be showing you three must-know techniques to blend your VFX to take them from something really boring to a lot more of an advanced VFX that looks blended together. If you're new here, be sure to be subscribed. I upload videos like this all the time. Go ahead and drop a like on the video and let's get into the breakdown. So here in After Effects, this is the VFX that I came up with. It's like this glass zoom through transition. And as of right now, it looks okay. But if you take it into the other composition where I've already blended and added the techniques that I'm all going to be showing you in this video, you can see... It's a lot more flashy of an effect. It looks a lot smoother. There's blurs, there's flashes, there's shakes, everything to kind of sell the VFX. As you can see here, if I go slowly here, you'll see how stuff fades in, fades out. There's a nice shake at the end versus this first one where it's just the zoom through. And they both kind of work, but if you're gonna go through the hassle of adding this VFX, you might as well go through and sauce it up to the next level. So since we already have keyframes applied in our VFX, you can see here, one of the easiest ways to sell this effect more is adding motion blur. So if you have keyframes inside of After Effects and you don't have this motion blur tab selected, and then this one, you're missing out on a huge blending factor of your VFX. It's already gonna make it look so much better by just those one or two clicks. That's a really simple one. I think a lot of you guys might know about that. So as you can see, we have a lot more motion blur here already and it's selling the effect a lot. But another thing I like to do is play around with the colors and the blurs of clips. So for example, we're kind of zooming through Trippy's glasses here. And as you can see, our focus should be on like this new scene, but we still are in focus back here. So one thing we can do to actually go ahead and blend a little bit more is add an effect like Gaussian blur onto this back clip. And as this starts to come into frame, we'll kind of just blur it out. So it loses focus a little bit, maybe up something like 30 for us, all going to be dependent on you. And then I'm going to have it blur kind of before the end here and we can easy ease those. Now you can see it kind of just loses focus and now you focus on the right thing. And we can kind of go ahead and actually reverse that and add a Gaussian blur onto our mask here. That way when it comes in, it's a little bit more like out of focus and then move that to the beginning. And as it kind of goes in right about here, we'll bring it down to zero. So that's where our main focus is. So it's almost like your eyes like kind of pulling focus on the effect. And this is a great way to blend any kind of VFX using blurs like this. Another thing I like to do is change the color. So an effect like brightness and contrast might be cool here, where we can actually bring down the brightness of this clip. So it kind of comes into frame black, and then we can go ahead and just bring it to zero very similar to that blur. And now it's kind of just gonna fade in like that. You can also even play with the opacity, but now we're, our effects really starting to come together. You can see how it's starting to look like it actually makes sense. Now, one of the next things I'm gonna do is make an adjustment layer above these two clips, and we're going to add a shake effect. So it kind of like slowly becomes more and more intense as the effect happens. It'll just sell the effect a little bit more, and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So I'm gonna apply the shaky hands preset from Shake Sauce 2. If you don't already have it, go ahead and click the link down in the description. You'll get a seven day free trial. You can try out Shake Sauce 2, 100% risk free. If you cancel before the seven days, you won't be billed. So go ahead and try it out. You're gonna love it. It's by far the best way to add shake energy into your videos inside of After Effects, and I use it all the time. So let's go ahead and apply shaky hand preset like that. And as you can see, it's a constant preset, so it's just going to be shaky this whole entire time. And that looked pretty cool, I'm not going to lie, but it's not what we're going for. So what I'm going to do is up here in the effects controls, we're going to open up the position, the rotation, the scale, flicker, basically everything here, right? And what we're going to do is keyframe all of that stuff, like the position, amplitude, the rotation amplitude, and the scale amplitude, and also the flicker amplitude. And we're gonna move it all the way to the end. And then we're gonna go back to a little bit before the zoom starts to take place. And we're gonna change all of those numbers to zero. So we can just go ahead and change all of those to zero. And if we easy ease that by clicking F9, you can see we now have this like a little like almost like shake out kind of thing. Like it has a little bit more movement to it, right? And you can change the length of it to get the desired look you want. You can have it start a little bit earlier. I think maybe starting like here would probably be the best. Maybe even like right when you first see it. I did like it, like how I initially had it. And then to go ahead and sell this even further, right here on this hit, I'm gonna go up to the keyframe and do the quick preset and then apply it right here. And it's just gonna add this extra layer of shake. So now you can see it kind of has this snap here and I actually want to go through and change that flicker brightness up to something like four. That way it just has a really insane like flash, maybe a little bit less, like three. 
And I'm also going to go through and just turn down the intensity of that shake just a little bit. That's what I like about shake sauce too. They're all 100% customizable. So I just wanted it to be a little bit like more of like a snap here, just like that. You can see how it kind of now sells that effect all the way through. And if we go ahead, I think sound also is a great way to blend your VFX. If you don't already have sound effects and stuff like that, go ahead and apply it here. Also just editing to the sound as you can hear on this transition. Now that we've added sound, it's gonna make the VFX sound a lot better because we applied it right on an 808 hit like this. Yeah. You can see how even just timing your VFX will help out a lot. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. If you want Shake Sauce 2, like I said, I'll have it linked down in the description with that seven day free trial. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to be subscribed to the channel because I upload videos like this all the time. And if you haven't dropped a like, go ahead and do that. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.